Join hundreds of students who excel in maths by learning from the mathstutor.com.au. Through hundreds of comprehensive video maths lessons, a passionate teacher shares his expertise, unique teaching style and methods with you. Go to themathstutor.com.au and join up now. www.themathstutor.com.au Making maths easy. Don't forget to tell your friends. <laughs> Hey guys, have you heard of interest or simple interest or flat rate interest? Well, they all mean the same thing. What's interest? Let's find out. Interest is a term used when financial institutions such as banks charge for money borrowed or a payment is made for money invested. What does that mean? It means that when you want to borrow money from a bank, you're asking for an amount. What they'll do is they'll give you the amount, but you're going to have to pay back the amount that you borrowed plus interest on top. So you're going to borrow an amount and then you're going to pay the amount back and another amount, which we call interest, on top of that back to the bank. It's a charge they charge you for borrowing money from them. Same way, when you invest money with a bank, and you give them your money and it stays in their account and it stays in the bank. Basically, how does it work? They actually give you interest in return because they are using your money. Now, let's understand a little bit more about interest. Simple interest, also known as flat rate interest, is an equal payment for equal time periods, calculated as a fixed percentage of the amount borrowed or invested at the start. So we're going to use a special formula to understand what we meant by that. The formula is interest equals principal times rate times time or interest equals principal times rate times the number of periods. Time or the number of periods, you may see that formula I equals PRT or I equals PRN, they are the same formula. But for now, we're going to use I equals PRN, interest equals principal, times the rate of interest, times the number of periods. So, here we have the formula. To calculate the interest, we basically use this formula. We multiply the principal times the rate of interest per period, and the number of periods. That is the theory. So remember this formula, I equals PRN. I equals P times R times N. So whenever you're asked to work out the simple interest or the flat rate interest, straight away remember, I equals PRN. That's the formula you're going to be using to find I. I stands for interest. So let's look at an example. The example says, Find the simple interest paid for borrowing $8,000 at 12% PA, meaning per annum, meaning per year, for four years. So here we have a person who's borrowing $8,000 from the bank. And we said when you borrow from the bank or the financial institution, you're going to have to pay back what you borrow plus interest on top. So this person is borrowing $8,000 the bank is charging them 12% per annum per year for four years. Now, let's use the formula to work this out. We always write the formula down. The formula states I equals P R N. I is the interest. The principal is the amount borrowed. How much was borrowed? $8,000. That's how much money was borrowed from the bank. At the rate, we know the rate is 12% per annum. And the number of periods, meaning the number of years that this amount is being borrowed for, it's been borrowed for four years. So we times it by 
for I equals P, the principal, times the rate, times the time or the number of periods, which in this case is four years. So this person is borrowing $8,000 for four years. At 12% per annum, they're going to get charged interest on top for four years. So the, to find the interest, the simple interest, we use this formula, principal times the rate times the number of periods. 8,000 times 12% times four. Let's work it out. Let's grab our calculator. Let's do it. Always have your calculator handy. 8,000 times 12% times four. It's that simple. So 8,000 times 12% times four, 3,000 $840. So this person has borrowed $8,000 over four years at 12% per annum. The interest they're going to pay on top of the $8,000 is $3,840. Very important. They're going to pay back the $8,000 plus they're going to pay back $3,840 in interest to the bank. So in total, if we want to know how much will this person pay back in total? They are going to pay back in total A for amount, the principal they borrowed, plus the interest. So altogether, they're going to pay back the $8,000 plus interest on top, $8,000. Plus three thousand eight hundred and forty. The total amount total amount that they're gonna to have to pay back is eleven thousand eight hundred and forty. So they borrowed eight thousand. Four years later, they're going to pay back the eight thousand dollars plus three thousand eight hundred and forty altogether. $11,840 will be paid back to the bank for borrowing $8,000. Let us do another example.